Good morning to all watching us by the social media and to members of uh, the press. We are here at the Lusaka High Court with the Acting President, Honorable Given Rubinda, the Secretary General, Honorable Rafael Nakachinda, Honorable uh, Mwila, Davis Mwila, and uh, Madam Kapona here, members of the Central Committee and other Central Committees. Oh, our National Chairperson, Honorable Msonda Emmanuel Mpankata who is our member of parliament for Lupososhi, is our acting chairperson after the decisions that were made over um, the weekend. We have some development here at uh, the High Court. I will hand over to SG to speak to the matter, then invite the president uh, to speak to this matter. Uh, acting president and uh, colleagues, chairmen, MCCs that are here, um, I may not have to speak to the principal issue, but only to report that because of the criminal enterprise that was conducted yesterday by one Mao Sampa, who is not a member of Patriotic Front, as of yesterday, he had been facing disciplinary uh, charges. He was expected to comply with the regulation and processes within the party, but instead he chose to take the route of impunity and commit to what would be considered treasonous. And to that effect, um, he found himself in a situation that is no longer a member of Patriotic Front. And after that, the party sought for um, what is legally right to be done that acting president will speak to. So may I call upon you just to speak to the nation about the new development. Thank you. Before I do, let the national chairman uh, say something about it. National chairman. Yeah, thank you, acting president. You see, it is very unfortunate in Zambia that the police can go and provide protection to unlawful assembly. Imagine it is the PF, us, the original PF, the owners of the party, who did that. They would have brought the whole country, sir. But they went ahead to protect unlawful assembly and gave it that prominence. And we have a visiting head of state, which is very shameful. And that is an illegality that was conducted by Mao Samba. Mao Samba is no longer a member of the Patriotic Front. I am the acting chairperson of the party who is supposed to be the convener of the general conference. Mm -hmm. And no member of the Central Committee attended that. And, no, and you know, party officials who are in our party register attended that. So that was an illegality and we don't recognize it. So as a nation, and my appeal to all members of the Patriotic Front, genuine ones, that was an illegality. Please take coup. As your leaders, we are in charge of the process and we inform you accordingly. Thank you. Fellow countrymen and countrywomen, we in the Patriotic Front, have said time and again that we are being governed by a gentleman who is totally undemocratic. Hagainde Bali Montuabufi Hijilema is nothing but a pin top uh, dictator. Yeah. That's what he is. For him to have allowed the police or to have instructed the police to permit Miles Sampa to conduct an illegal conference on the day when this country was celebrating its 59th birthday, its 59th independence anniversary, is totally uncalled for and undemocratic. We know that Miles Sampa is not working on his own. We know that Miles Sampa is only a tool in the scheme of destroying democracy in Zambia. Mm, yes. We know that Haga Inde Hijilema spends sleepless nights just at the mention of the name Patriotic Front. Mm. And he thinks and knows that for as long as the Patriotic Front survives, his chances in 2026 are nil. And this is the reason why he's working extremely hard and spending a lot of money to decimate the Patriotic Front. But as God would always have it, right is always might. Yes. And in a country that espouses multi-party democracy, a country in which there is a clear separation 
between the three wings of government, the executive, the judicature, and the legislature. You cannot have it all on your own. The executive cannot think that they can interfere with the operations of the other two wings of government. And this is testimony of the fact that there are still some judges who know what it means to be judges in a multi-party state. Yes. We're therefore grateful that the judge has granted us this injunction. And I want to sound this warning. The police are now called to order. We reported to the police when Mao Zisampa went and destroyed our secretariat. To date, the police have not taken action. And now, with this ex parte order, we know that Mao Zampa would dare us by going ahead and masquerading as leader of the Patriotic Front. We want to warn the police, if they don't arrest him for breaching this now, and call out Mao Zampa for being a stooge that is meant to destroy the Patriotic Front. As a matter of fact, people must be reminded that it is out of the benevolence of these men and women in the leadership of the PF that Mayul Sampa was even a member of this party. Mm -hmm. We expelled him in 2015. He came and knelt down. He was sleeping at our homes, begging us that we readmit him. We readmitted him. We even allowed him to stand as mayor for Lusaka. Mm -hmm. And yet, look at how he is stabbing us in the back. That's the reason why it is said that an bad habits die hard. We forgot this, but now we have been reminded and we are sending this warning. All those members of the Patriotic Front who found themselves at that illegal conference, can you bring yourselves now to the Secretary General, come and apologize to the Secretary General before we take action against you because you participated in an illegal assembly. You did not get instructions from the SG. You just decided because Mayo Sampa gave you a little bit of money, you went and gathered there. Can you own up now, come and report to the Secretary General so that you get some clemency from him? Otherwise, the axe will also fall on you. This party has a lot of members, and yes, we are recruiting even more members, so we will not allow anyone to destroy the path that the Zambians have put us on. The Zambians are expecting this political party called Patriotic Front to give credible checks and balances to Hagainde. And Hagainde doesn't want that. That's the reason why he's using people like Miles to try and destroy us. That we shall not allow him to do. We will make sure that we defend our party. This is a democratic party. And at the right time, when the time comes, we shall have our extraordinary general conference. We already announced Honorable Chairperson for Information announced after our last meeting that in three weeks' time we shall have a Central Committee meeting to discuss the issue of the Extraordinary General Conference. So people take heart, be patient. This party is in safe hands and this party is for sure going to thrive even higher. Thank you very much, Miles, for testing us because we have now proven that we are a strong party. You thought that we were weak and that was scamper and scramble because of what you, illegality you did yesterday. But now you have proven the fact that we are mighty. This is the mighty patriotic front. Yeah. And it cannot be moved by little chongololos like you, Miles Sampa. Now we have expelled you and we want to even tell you, don't even dare go to parliament. Stay away because if you want, come to court to come and challenge our decision to expel you. Yes. We gave you the opportunity to save the people of Matero. Instead of saving them, you want to destroy the hopes of the people that elected you. That will not allow you to do, Miles Sampa. Now I want to warn you, Miles Sampa. Even the resources that you borrowed from the party, the resources you borrowed from the leaders of the party, bring them back quickly. Because now we'll start taking you to court for all the property you're holding, which belongs to members of this party. You're holding our property, which we gave to you to use in your campaign, and you don't want to even give it back to us. Now this is a war with you. We declare war on you, uh, you. Miles Sampa. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Acting President, before you leave, uh, uh, just your call <clears throat> to democratic institutions. First, the Speaker of the National Assembly. I think you've uh, delivered a letter that the speaker must act on your letter as a party has expelled Mr. Mao Sampa. Uh, the Registrar of Society, there may be attempts to attempt to change. What do you, I think, speak to these institutions of democracy and their expectations in relation to the rule of law? We are very clear on the fact that the statutory instrument 529 
which was published by Jack Mwimbo, Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security, was all couched to aim at the patriotic front. This is no wonder that Miles Sampa, who had actually sued the Registrar of Societies, asking the Registrar to compel the PF to go to an early convention, decided to withdraw that matter from court at the time when Jack Mwimbo was also issuing that statutory instrument. It is clear that they are talking to each other, they are working in cohort, and we know that the Registrar of Societies is under tremendous pressure. But this morning, Secretary General went and filed a letter with the Registrar to warn her that the event that took place yesterday was in illegality and must not accept any papers from my Osampa. Fortunately, now we have this ex parte order, which Secretary General will go and give to Registrar of Societies. You are now compelled by law, by the, by the judiciary, not to entertain any person who shall purport to be presenting any list of leadership of the Patriotic Front because the leadership is already registered by yourself. Any attempt to do that will be going against this court order, and that is punishable by law. Madam Speaker of the National Assembly, we know that even as you preside over the business of Parliament, you are always against members of the Patriotic Front. This time you have this order. We have instructed you that we have expelled Miles Sampa, and can you please make sure that Miles Sampa vacates his seat in Parliament. He is sitting there not on his own accord he is sitting there because the patriotic front sponsored him to be a candidate and he won the material seat or the courtesy of the pf we have now withdrawn our membership of Mayo Sampa and therefore yes, he is no yes, longer qualified yes, to sit yes. in the National Assembly. Yes. Let, him, Let him go to court. It is not up to you, Madam Nelly Muti. Mm. You have received notice that we have expelled him. Yes. Let him come and battle with us in court, yes. not in Parliament. Yes. And please don't you get involved. This is a party matter. It is not a National Assembly no, matter. All members of Parliament who go to Parliament on account of being adopted by a political party cease to hold the seat when the party withdraws their membership. So please follow the law, Madam Nelly Muti. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's just attend to this emergency. Do you regret having readmitted Mr. Sarkozy in your time? It's two things. Yes. On one hand, we regret that we did that. But on the other hand, we are happy that we gave Mao Sampa a second bite. Now the Zambian people will see that we are not vindictive. A person that went against us, we still readmitted him because we thought that he would learn. This is how democratic we are. But now he has done something that is not forgivable. This time, Miles Sampa must know that he has no more future in the Patriotic Front. Thank you very much. Isn't your decision to suspend Mr. Sampa equally because the court is trained to propose him as a leader? I have not suspended him. We have expelled him. Yes, we have, ex we have expelled him. The, the Constitution of the Patriotic Front gives power to the Central Committee and to the President to take any measures to protect the security of the party. And in this case, we cannot allow a person who drags the party into disrepute, who goes and arranges an illegal meeting. We can't allow him to continue to be a member of the party. He is expelled and shall remain expelled. Maybe we can even add a voice from the council. Uh, council McKeby. Take the, the, you ask the question. Okay. So, Mao Sampa earlier got an injunction to stop him from being expelled from the party suspended. or suspended from the party that related to a different thing that he did but he committed yet another offense and there's no nothing that stops the party from moving on a new issue so the old issue that he wasn't nothing was done to him he wasn't suspended but he committed yet another offense on the basis on which he was expelled so that does not apply now he's not a member of pf anymore based on the new uh, circumstances and he will remain not a member until the court orders otherwise if the court sees it fit because he's been expelled and the injunction is to the extent that he should not hold himself out as a member of the party anywhere or a functionary of the party that's what the injunction says and the matter will be heard inter parties that is with him in november on the 21st of november that is the next time in the meantime he remains not a member of PF. 
and the National Assembly has been informed of the same. Judge Chocho. Yes. Are you saying we should not follow the first order of the court? The first order has been overtaken. The first order has been overtaken. That that injunction that injunction relates to a different issue. This is a different issue altogether. That restraint was not for purposes of having held a convention that was not authorized. Mm. That related to something else. And, um, and, and, and yes. exactly. So it's it's different. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's different. You should That's understand it from that context. That's a good one. Yes. When somebody charged with murder, it's not the same as yeah. stealing a phone. Thank you. Thank you.